Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here again today at the Rock Island Auction House taking a look at some of the guns that are coming up for sale in their September of 2015 premiere auction. Now I know I've done a bunch of video on Pedersons in the recent past, but there's one more that I think we need to do. We looked at a, a Pedersen rifle, we did some actual shooting of a Pedersen rifle, we looked at the Japanese Pedersen. There's one that got left out, and that was a Pedersen carbine. So some people are probably going to look at this and be immediately horrified that someone would have the gall to sporterize a Pedersen rifle. Well, don't worry, they didn't. This is actually a factory Pedersen carbine. They were produced intentionally with a rounded cut down stock like this. They have a barrel that's actually about two inches shorter than the standard rifle. The idea was this would be used by cavalry troops. Uh, fairly typical at that time, we're talking the, the 19, uh, early 1930s that these were being manufactured. Um, this is one of the, in fact, about the last of the run of, of Pedersen rifles, or Pedersen firearms, made by the Vickers Company. So they did, uh, best number I have at hand is 262 of these guns total. Now the first 16 were model PB, and then the bulk of the guns from 17 to like 239 were model PA, and then the last handful from 260 or from uh, 240 to 262 were these model PA carbines. So you might, if you caught it, be wondering why the PB came first and the PA came second. That's a very good question. I believe the answer is that, uh, first of all, Pedersen liked to have his, his initial on all of his guns, uh, the P, and then the, the first guns that he actually made were the guns for the U.S. Army trials, which were the, the model T1. Well, when he came over to Vickers to start making the, what was then actually the second batch of guns, he naturally designated it the PB, the second. Um, the problem is they had some issues with the PB. There were a couple things that really ought to have been fixed, things like there wasn't a way on the PBs to eject a clip, um, a partially loaded clip if you wanted to. Uh, the PB also used a non-reversible end block clip, so you had to, to load it into the gun right side up. And he corrected those faults. Um, the Model PA, you can push forward on the trigger with the bolt open and it will eject a partial clip. Uh, it also uses a newly designed end block clip that is reversible, like an M1 Garand clip. You can insert it whichever side up you want, doesn't make a difference, it'll work either way. Definite improvements. And it, it seems like when he made those improvements and, and Vickers needed to uh, designate a new, come up with a new name for this improved rifle, they went to PA because frankly, commercially, no one was paying attention to the guns in the US Army trials. They weren't on the market, they weren't being made, they weren't being advertised to anybody. So they went to PA um, basically to suggest that this was the first formalized commercial version of the gun. So at any rate, um, other than the short barrel and the shortened stock, these carbines are identical to the, the regular rifles in pretty much every way. All the, the action parts are interchangeable. They just have a slightly shorter stock. There are only, well, like 22 carbines that were originally made. Um, not sure how many of those still exist. A few, probably not all 22, but this would be the, uh, the third element in a Pedersen collection. You, of course, need the PA rifle, the PB rifle, then eh, maybe you need the US test trials gun, and then you also need a PA carbine. So if you'd like to add this one to your own collection, make sure to check the link below. That'll take you to Rock Island's catalog page on it. You can take a look at their high-res pictures, see if it's the one that you just can't live without. And uh, if it is, well, you can either come down here in person, create an account online, and place a bid. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.